31 out of 21. Go ahead. I'm about one out if you want Hello. to stand by there and I'll take over. If you drive a motor vehicle, chances are at some point you will encounter an emergency vehicle or maybe even get pulled over by a police officer. Now we know that this can be a frightening experience. Over the next few minutes, we will attempt to demystify the process for you by describing exactly what occurs during a traffic stop. When driving, it is important that you always remain aware of what is happening on all sides of your vehicle, including the rear. If you see flashing red or blue lights approaching, that indicates an emergency vehicle. You must pull to the right and allow the emergency vehicle to pass you on the left. If there is only one lane, pull over as far right as possible and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed you. Remember, this applies to police vehicles, fire trucks, and ambulances. A police officer may stop any motorist for a variety of reasons, including to check your driver's license and your vehicle registration, or to check your sobriety. In some cases, police may be looking for someone who drives a similar vehicle as yours and need to verify who is inside the car. You may have also committed a traffic infraction. In all those cases, you, as a driver, should follow the same procedure as we just explained. Pull over to the right and stop. If a police officer is wanting to speak to you, they will stop behind you. If this happens, stay in your car. The officer will come to you. It is also a good idea to turn off the radio. This makes communicating with the officer easier. You should also roll down your window completely prior to the officer arriving. For everyone's safety, you may choose to leave both hands on the steering wheel. The police officer may take a few moments before approaching you in order to check your license plate on the computer. This is done to determine if the car is stolen or if the driver is wanted by police. The officer will also notify their dispatcher about the traffic stop for their own safety. If it is dark, the officer may use additional lighting from their vehicle or from a handheld flashlight to see inside your car. This is done for the safety of the police officer. The officer will explain the reason for stopping you and ask for your driver's license and vehicle registration. All drivers are required by law to have both these documents with them when driving and to provide them to police upon demand. Failing to have those documents with you or failing to provide them to police is an offense. Once the officer has obtained your documentation, they will return to the police vehicle where they will perform computer database checks in order to validate your license and registration status. If you were stopped for a traffic infraction, they will also complete a summary offense ticket, which outlines the offense and the penalty as well as your options to contest the ticket in the future. This may take several minutes. Remain in your car while you wait. Once the officer has completed all checks and the summary offense ticket, if applicable, they will return to your car. At that point, they will explain any ticket you might be receiving. You will be notified of the offense, the fine, as well as your options to either pay or contest the ticket. It may be tempting to argue the matter with the officer. However, the roadside is not the appropriate place to do this. It poses risks to both you and the officer. At this point, your driver's license and registration will also be returned to you. Once the step is completed, you'll be free to go. Always merge back into traffic using caution.